What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and the early Modern Warfare copies appear to now be working and the servers are officially live. So with that, we got a couple of leaked content floating around the internet and today I wanna just briefly talk about that stuff because I feel it's really, really awesome and it's not really too, too much of a surprise, but still, like I said, I think it's pretty dang cool. But if you guys wanna see more of that kind of stuff, a little bit more in details of what exactly you're gonna be looking forward to when you get the game like new maps all the perks etc then definitely the modern warfare subreddit and youtube are going to be your best friends there because those two sites are teeming with leaked content even the campaign gameplay is floating around so a lot of leaked stuff is coming out here but like i said today i want to touch base on a little bit of stuff not really too too much um details that are surprising for example um in modern warfare each different operator is going to have their own unique killing animation and i'm going to have a link to the video down below in the description the video may get taken down it may not but if it does i'll have another link to where you can watch it all as well but yeah basically each operator has their own set of about five executions and each one looks so freaking brutal like there's blood splattering everywhere um the person's throat will get slit by a combat axe like infinity ward does not hold anything back when it comes to creating these animations so definitely think y'all should check those out and speaking of the operators there's a total of 18 for Call of Duty Modern Warfare and their names are Alice, Azor, Bale, Charlie, D-Day, Domino, Golem, Grinch, Kruger, Minotaur, Otter, Rain, Rodion, Sayo, Thorn, Wyatt, Yegor, and Zane. So those are all the names of the operators in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So again, there are a total of 18 operators and each has their own really sick introduction. So I'm gonna link that down below as well. We also have have sprays and gestures they're gonna be coming back kind of similar to the infinite warfare gestures and not really black ops 4s where you could be taken into a third person view and the whole character's body like moves and contorts into some silly funny animation um for this one it's just like infinite warfare where the hand gestures are gonna be on your screen and then for the last thing i want to talk about are keys so i'm gonna link that down below as well it's a link to the reddit post that posted the cod points and keys image and i want to say right now that these keys are basically going to act similar to the keys in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare where you can pretty much play any mode and earn keys to use in order to unlock different weapon variants and uh, that kind of stuff so uh, for, for this game though I think you can use the keys to unlock weapon variants of course sprays gestures and skins hopefully everything can be unlocked by using these keys in the game um, and also hopefully just everything stays cosmetic only and Infinity Ward will not change up their model like Later on in the year like we saw with Call of Duty Black Ops 4 like that was such a huge letdown because they added supply drops for one they locked weapons behind supply drops too just very very annoying and sad honestly hopefully Infinity Ward does not do that kind of stuff um, but it does raise my eyebrows a little bit that you know why are keys in this game when they were a type of currency to use in infinite warfare to unlock supply drops so um, I just I really don't think that supply drops are gonna be returning I'm holding to infinity words and Activision's word about this because when they gave their statement earlier in the month it really did seem like they were kind of upset about the stigmatism that Activision has and they want to draw away from that because I mean at the end of the day it's just smart business to um you know address these concerns and then fix them listen to your community and it took them a couple years but hey they finally did it it's definitely going to be very interesting to see if activision or infinity ward decides to go back on their word and add supply drops in the game but like i said i really don't think they would but really only time will tell so guys please let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments thanks for watching love y'all so so much we have about uh actually a couple of hours until modern warfare comes out and i I am very, very excited. Hope everybody is too. Um, again, Modern Warfare is going to be coming out around like 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I'm going to have a video talking about that stuff as well because you can't actually play it the day before it releases on Thursday the 24th, only for a couple of hours early. But I mean, hey, like it's still an early release of the game. So um, I'm going to link that down below in the description as well if you guys want to see that. And yeah, again, thanks for watching. Love you all so much. Till next time, see you guys later.